Without further ado, can I introduce to you Mr. Harry Gration, member of the most excellent order of the British Empire, regional BBC reporter of the year, to give the award. Mr. Gration. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's wonderful to be here for my fifth uh, Gould Business Awards. First award is the Learning and Development Award. It's sponsored by Gould College. And I wonder, please, if you would welcome the Deputy Chief Executive who will make the announcement, Lee Probert, to join me on stage. Lee. The shortlist then, ladies and gentlemen, for the Learning and Development Award are The Salon. Shields Limited. and Simon Gibson Transport Limited. Yeah. I wonder, Lee, if you'd be so kind as to announce the winner, please. Thank you. And the winner of the Learning and Development Award is The Salon. The judges said, ladies and gentlemen, the entry was excellent. The employment of apprentices stemming from her own work experience and ethic shows a passion for the trade as well as her business. Gives a clear understanding, drive and enthusiasm for in-house training to NVQ levels three and four, nurturing staff, but encouraging growth within the trade at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, let's show your appreciation for our learning and development winners, the Salon. Our next award, ladies and gentlemen, is the Marketing Excellence Award. It's sponsored by H. Walton. Would you please welcome on stage to present this award, Anthony Walton, a director. Thank you, Anthony, for your sponsorship. You know it's appreciated. The shortlist, ladies and gentlemen, for the Marketing Excellence Award is All Occasions Florist. <laughs> Flourish and Prosper. And last but by no means least, Dale Turner Photography. <laughs> Anthony. Congratulations to Dale Turner Photography. Now the judges thought that this man had reinvented the good old fashioned concept of word of mouth. They love the element of surprise with the calendars which he sent out to his clients from the previous year. What better way to get referrals subsequent baby family portrait work than by reminding his customers every day of the year that he should be their number one choice. The judges have named him the silent salesman. Feels great. I've, the first time I've actually entered, another award's been going for about five years now. Uh, never really had the time to enter before, but this year I actually set some quality time aside. It's not something I wanted to sort of rush into, give it the time it deserved, and it's, uh, it's paid off. It's great. Great feeling. The next award, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, is the Employee of the Year. It's sponsored by ABP, and would you please welcome the Customer Services Manager Operations from ABP, Danny Carmichael to the stage. Danny. Here's our shortlist, ladies and gentlemen. Charlotte Broadhead from the Press Association. <laughs> Katie Dale from Salt Marsh Hall. <laughs> and Stuart Butler, the Kerfoot Group. <laughs> Danny, would you be so kind, please? Thank you. Could you all raise the roof for your winner, Charlotte Broadhead, yeah. the Press Association? Yeah. 
Now, Charlotte stands out incredibly in this category. From starting as a teenager with the Press Association, she has worked her way up, and before the age of 20 years old, has her own department managing her own team of employees who are more often, more older in years. She has shown integrity, maturity beyond her years, with an extremely large organisation, and has gone above and beyond to exceed what would be a normal career path. Many congratulations to you, Charlotte Broadhead. It feels absolutely lovely. I was, it was a, a big surprise, yeah, but I'm very pleased. I don't know, I think it's been quite a year for me, to be honest. I've taken on more responsibilities at work, um, and it's, I think it's the challenges and the different processes and procedures I've put in place that have uh, worked out uh, well. The next award, the Service Sector Business of the Year. It's sponsored by Gould Academy, and it's presented by Louise Frensham Acting Principal Studio College Ghoul. The shortlist for this uh, Service Sector Business of the Year. IT Express Technology Group Limited. The Jug and Bottle. And Westfield Park Nursing Home. Louise, would you be so kind? Thank you. And the winner is Westfield Park Nursing Home. If anybody else would like to come up, please do. Now, this entry was not originally was not originally put forward in this category. However, the committee thought it more than worthy of a submission. The judges thought that this entry was superb and the highest standard of all the entries in this category. The supporting documentation enhanced everything the entry stated and more. The quality of care shown to the resident is second to none. From a pool table to bar facilities for the residents, it is evident that nothing is too much trouble for this company to serve the residents in their care. Yes. Many congratulations. Yes. I think it's because we are an home of excellence, there is no doubt about it. We provide excellent nursing care to all our clients and with this award it's not just us four we've got a hundred other staff out there and it goes to them as well and without the the clients and our relatives um, we just wouldn't be here it's just fantastic we do go above and beyond what, what's expected of a care home to our next award and this is the customer service excellence it's sponsored by townends chartered accountants and I'm delighted to welcome up to the stage a partner of Town Ends, Adrian Carroll. The shortlist for the customer service excellence follows. Flourish and prosper. Michelle Louise. All occasions florists. Adrian, if you'd be so kind as to come over to the microphone and announce the winner, please. Good evening, everyone. I'm pleased to announce the winner of the Customer Service Excellence Award is Flourish and Prosper. Now, the judges were impressed with how Sean listens to his customers and responds accordingly. They were particularly interested in the wine club which Sean has started up in the past 12 months and to see how the business has moved premises in order to grow the Delhi side of the business. Well done, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, the next award is the New Business Award. The sponsor are Cobus Limited. Would you please welcome on stage the sale manager there, Sam Drinkall. Thank you for joining us on stage. Here's the shortlist. East Riding Oil Limited. Salt Marsh Hall. And Our Ghoul. Thank you, Sam.
And the winner is Salt Marsh Hall. Marsh Hall, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Salt Marsh Hall, a family owned business turned around from a rundown old hall into a profitable business which has developed a niche market organising weddings, wedding fairs and other events. They've worked hard to put themselves on the map in the Howdenshire area. Many congratulations to you. That was amazing. It was very unexpected and very tough. Oh, it's amazing to recognise all the effort and all the businesses in this area. I think it's a, it's a great way to, to recognise it. So yeah, I think it's really important. Our next award, ladies and gentlemen, is the Retail Business of the Year. It's sponsored by the Ghoul Times. Would you please welcome the news editor, Rachel Taylor. Rachel, welcome. The shortlist, Parkin Family Butchers. That's the best cheer of the night, definitely. Well done. Flourish and prosper. And Druton's Farm Shop. Rachel, please tell us. Congratulations to Parkins Family Butchers. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Cool time. Yeah. You can tell Phil's a butcher anyway, can't you? But there we go. Um, the Parkin family butchers have carried on the tradition handed down by generations. It becomes obvious that Phil is the epitome of what good old traditional butchers should be. <laughs> Yeah, I might not, I might. Uh, good solid testimonials from his customers, always ready with a friendly smile or a joke. And more importantly, it tends to customer requirements. Lots of competition in the trade in the town of Howden, and the butchers has survived for over 35 years. Well done. Come here, Phil. I'm here. Uh, public, public demand, I think, this. Um, what, um, nice and clear, Phil, into the microphone. Okay. What makes a good butcher? Uh, a good sausage. <laughs> and not a chipolada, ladies, not a chipolada. Uh, I'd like to thank the guest speaker and his language. I'd like to say thanks, Mum and Dad, for this, because uh, without you, my mother's been very ill just recently, so I'd like to thank her. Uh, and everybody else that comes in the shop. Thank you. And also the HSBC. They've been brilliant to me. Thank you. If we may move on now to the charity of the year, sponsored by Phil Plastic UK Limited, would you please welcome the managing director, Paul Taylor. Shortlist, ladies and gentlemen. Castaway Ghoul Limited. Herib, that's the Hull and East Riding Institute for the Blind. Yay! And the Goulan District Community Transport Group. Yay! Paul, would you be so kind as to announce the winner, please? Thank you. Uh, the winner of the Charity of the Year is the Goulan District Community Yay! Transport Group. Now, the Goulan District Transport uh, Community Group submission was excellent. Their growth is outstanding. There is a massive need for the support that they give. 
They have a big logistical requirement as their activities cover the whole area of Goul and Howdenshire, not just Goul. Many congratulations. Well, they bring, us, they bring us to other people's attention because it's surprising. Although we've been here now, uh, what is it, 12 years? 11. Yeah, uh, there's still a lot of people who don't know we exist. You talk to people in the town and they ask you what you do, they've never heard of you. So uh, it, it gets us noticed. And it's recognition for all the hard work that the whole team put in as well. We move on, ladies and gentlemen, now to our next award, which is the Award for Innovative, Innovative, I beg your pardon, Innovative Business. It's sponsored by the Press Association and it's presented by the Head of Operations, Margaret Hicks Clark. Margaret, thank you. The shortlist The Kerfoot Group. Instinctive Horse Training. Collet and Sons Limited. Margaret, thank you. And the winner is Collet and Sons Limited. Now the judges felt that this was a first class submission with innovative logistics capabilities, the investment of the largest girder bridge in Europe to transport transformers, steel castings and heavy engineering components is commendable. This company has shown outstanding performance in the innovation state. Well done. The next award is the Small Business of the Year Award. It's sponsored by FSB, and I'm delighted to welcome Adam Guttridge to present this award. Adam, thank you. The shortlist follows. The Jug and Bottle. bottle. Chrissy Metcalf Recruitment Limited. And Michelle Louise. Adam, thank you. And the winner of Small Business of the Year is the Jug and Bottle. The hard work that Goals do put in, the customer service and just the diverse range of services and goods that we offer to our customers that come to our shop in the village of Budworth and that we've also won a best cider retailer in the country as well. So just, yeah, just the range of products from beer, spirits, wines, foods, giftware and cider. Uh, the next award is the Large Business of the Year. Uh, it's sponsored by HSBC. I'm delighted to welcome from the HSBC the Senior Relationship Manager, Simon Cook. Here's a shortlist. Druton's Farm Shop. Phil Plastic UK Limited. And Simon Gibson Transport Limited. Simon, thank you. And the winner is Simon Gibson Transport Limited. Hopefully the, uh, the, the dedication to my staff and uh, the, uh, the, the way we've expanded over the last 15 years from starting as one truck, one driver. We've now got 138 staff and 97 tankers on the road. We move now to our final award, which is a very big award, ladies and gentlemen. That's the overall business of the year. But before we go into more detail about that, would you please welcome the chairman of the awards committee, Gary Haas. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award for 2015 Mr. Hugh Walton.
Ladies and gentlemen, I think I know somebody on every table. Uh, I do hide my light under a bushel now, and I do enjoy, obviously, raising the money for charity and watching the children grow. But I also enjoy watching Gould grow. Uh, it's a great honour, something most unexpected, and I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, to our last award, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being so patient. Thank you for being a wonderful audience. This is the overall business of the year. This is the big one, is this. It's sponsored by RMS, and the group chairman of that group is Ian Parsons. Ian, please come to the stage. Thank you. Well, the shortlist for this award is everyone, really. Ian, would you be so kind? Thank you. The winner of the overall business of the year is Druton's Farm Shop. This family-owned company has been moved forward and the family have taken it a lot further since last year. It's a multi-function business, not just a farm shop or a catering business or retail or leisure business. It is all of these put together. The judges noticed in the entry that it's not all about the owners of the family who run the business, but it's mainly about the employees, the chef, the farmhands, the shop assistant. They put their staff at the forefront of their business. It's got to be the team. It's got to be totally the team. Um, we've got 48 members of staff all together and they work very closely together. They are a huge support to each other and we deliver as much as we can to the local community and to our customers and um, I couldn't do it without them, that's for sure. These awards get bigger and better every year, the Ghoul Howdenshire Business Excellence Awards. Thanks for being a fantastic audience. The bar is still open. Enjoy the rest of the evening. To all the winners, many congratulations to the nominees. Uh, please try a bit harder for next year and come back because we want you to be successful in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you and good night. Thank you. Thank you.